What's up YouTube? I'm Sketchy Brett, YouTube's sketchiest artist. And today I'm gonna to show you how, well, how not to and how to stretch your paper ready for watercolor. And that way you will be able to get it just as smooth as this. So let's jump straight in. I'm going to be taping up the edges. This is the first tape. So this is masking tape and this is for the sketch part of uh, this piece. And this is so that I get those nice crisp white edges on my paper when I take it off. There's going to be a second tape that goes on later. That's after I finish sketching. Then I'll drench the entire piece of paper in water and then I will lay down and different type of tape which I will show you in this video and that's going to then let it dry nice and flat so that I can start applying watercolor without getting those waves. So for this is just masking tape but there's a cool little trick that I've learned and I actually learned it on YouTube and if I can remember who taught it to me I'll put it in the comments but basically all you do is you take your tape and to prevent it from ripping the paper as you peel it off you just rub it on either a hoodie or anything that's going to leave a little bit of felt behind. And then it's really simple. To lay it down and you see now it pulls up nice and easily. You can see how it pulls up so easily now. You don't have to worry about ripping the paper. That's something I wish I learned years ago. Perfect. So now I can go and sketch my design. And once the sketch is finished, throw it in the bath, get it sopping wet, lay it down on a board and then we'll put our water activated tape and then as that paper dries it's going to pull this nice and tight and then I can work with lots of water without getting that rippling effect. Sketch time. Okay, so I am finished with the sketch now. Now comes to the daunting part for most of you and that's to stretch the paper. And we're going to be dipping it into this bath of water, completely submerging it. And I know that makes all of you panic. So if you're still worried, all you have to do is take your spray bottle, spray in a corner and just rub over it and you can see nothing's going to happen. It's, so long as you've used a waterproof marker, you're fine. So don't panic. That's the first part. The next part is to get some of this tape. It's not sticky at all until it gets wet. So. Um, what you want to do here is roll them out so you want to be prepared so we go just over and then we need two of these one for each side and then we measure out the length oh and this is just a piece of hardboard it's nice and smooth um, make sure that it is wide enough and uh, enough of a frame around it so that you've got space to stick this down. And the other thing to remember is where you stick this tape, you're going to cut inside of that. So this doesn't come off. This is going to rip your paper. So that's why we've put this frame. So we're going to get a nice edge, but we've put it wide enough that we can still put this tape down. 
to stretch our paper um, and still have enough space to, because we're going to cut on the inside of that. So when this is laid like this, when we want to release this, once we're finished, we're going to take a blade and we're going to cut that. Then we'll peel off this masking tape and that'll give us our edge, but we are going to lose some of the paper. So just bear that in mind when you're planning your piece. Okay, what are these? These are my widths. Keep my widths about me. Is that lame? <laughs> that was a good joke. Move your roll away from your tub because otherwise you're just going to end up with a solid block. And then the other thing is just do one little corner like that, not all the way across, otherwise it's going to, you're going to battle to peel it back, but then it doesn't run. Even that's a bit close for comfort. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this tub's not really big enough. It's fine, we'll get it wet. Oh, it's the biggest one I could find. Okay, we're gonna have to change strategy, yeah? I was hoping this was bigger. So, lots of water and we want all the the fibers to relax and stretch out so that when we tape it down it's at its most relaxed and then when it dries out again it's going to pull all of this really nice and tight so take your time don't be afraid of water. Put more than you think. Don't worry, I was petrified the first time I did this too. I was like, this doesn't seem like a good idea. But it is. It's a great idea. Front and back. Now we don't want it to be soggy, but we do want it to be wet. And don't worry if it starts to ripple, that's, that's the paper now starting to relax. That's kind of the point. And you don't have to have this flat now. Don't, I mean, you don't want it to be more rippled than anything, but it's not critical that this is perfectly flat at this point. It will have some lumps and bumps. Now this tape, same thing. We run it through the water and then it'll get a bit slimy underneath. And then we lay that down. You still have a bit of movement as you do it. starting top and bottom, do top and bottom, then side and side. It's exactly like envelope glue. Thank you, Jared. Jared's just uh, put this together for us. Yeah. Yeah, so like as you stick it down, it's still got some movement. You can still play around with it. So you don't have to worry too much. You can still line it up. You still got some time to shift it around. 
Don't worry about these bumps. That's what's going to pull in nice and tight. Okay, so now is where patience comes in, which I'm really good at. Don't use a hairdryer. I know some people do, but the problem with using a hairdryer is you're gonna get hot spots and cold spots. What you want is you want it as even as possible, so you want an even soak and you want an even dry. So you want it to dry evenly over time. So you best thing to do is just leave it move on to something else, keep the hairdryer in the holster, and then we start painting tomorrow. Okay, everyone, so I've come back to have a look how this is progressing, and it turns out you guys obviously made me nervous or something because I completely messed it up. Uh, this was the masking tape that I'd put down for the sketch, which I should have removed before I did the uh, gum tape to stretch the paper, because I've got to stretch the paper, then put the masking tape on before I do the watercolor. So we're gonna end up with a tutorial on how to do this again. Uh, as you can see, I can still just pull this gum tape off nice and easy. But the problem is, is that this masking tape is going to affect how the paper relaxes and dries. So I've got to pull this off. The paper is a bit damp now, so I'm being a little bit careful with this. You can see this is all dry underneath, so the paper didn't get properly wet. So I'm glad I realized when I did. And we can just quickly fix this. So if you've used the masking tape for your sketch, you remove that first, then you stretch your paper, then you put masking tape after it's dried, after you've stretched it, we'll do that before we start our watercolor so that we still get that nice crisp white edge. So we're just gonna add some more water again. It's already quite wet here, so we don't have to overdo it. We're just re-wetting. This is nice and flat. Always wipe it on your jeans. That looks better. <laughs> oh, let's do a video on it. Mess it up. Brilliant. But actually, it's good. People must see 
that it's actually fine. Even if you mess it up, you can still save it. That was, how long was that? That we stopped filming? An hour? Mm -hmm. Two hours ago? So I only realized two hours later and we could still save it. That looks way more like it was supposed to. Right, so we're back in studio this morning. And as you can see, this paper has dried completely and it's now smoother than a Cuban salsa dancer. <laughs> Is that a good one? <laughs> so it's actually that easy to stretch your paper ready for watercolor. It's just a little bit daunting. Move past it, don't worry yourself over getting everything wet. Test it if you are a bit nervous. Um, but give it a go, it's definitely worth it because now I can wet this paper again while I'm putting on my watercolor, it will ripple again and it'll tie back perfectly straight. So give it a go if you're not ready to do that just yet or if you have already stretched your paper. I've put two videos here that I think are going to really help you and until next week, keep it sketchy. <laughs> What's another smooth reference? Smooth as a baby's bun. That's yeah. a weird one for me.